Today we're going to be showing you how to fix a cracked screen. You see the pressure point and the crack. This is a Lenovo that we're going to replace the screen on. Some of the tools you might use are some uh, plastic pry tools available online. I like to use wooden clay sculpting tools. You'll need a pair of tweezers and a good screwdriver. I use a power driver and you can use a regular screwdriver if you like. First thing we're going to do is remove four pieces of plastic that cover the four screws in the corner. The tweezers are good for that. I also like to use a piece of plastic a bag or a piece of plexiglass or something to stick these on so they don't get lint or dirt from my workspace top. The two on the bottom are a little thinner uh, than the others. The, the top ones are uh, much thicker. Uh, they are spacers to prevent the uh, screen from touching the keyboard when it's closed. I'll take the last one off here and set those aside. Now we're going to be removing four screws from the corners. And now we're going to use our pry tool, either the plastic or the wooden one. Sometimes I have to interchange depending upon how difficult it is to pry loose. And you want to go in from the outside and begin prying this loose. Now the Lenovo screens have a piece of double face tape right along the inside edge that the screen uh, attaches to the outer front frame bezel with and it can be a little difficult to pull that loose but you want to get that to snap loose on the outside edge and then gradually start prying it loose from the double face tape. Once you get it started it's a lot easier you can just work your way around Pull it loose with your fingers and you'll hear that tape pulling loose and then you can get the screen loose. You see some of that double face tape right there still strung between the outer frame and the screen. And I like to take this moment to clean off any pieces of residue of that double face tape from the outer bezel. These can cause gaps if you leave them there when you put the new tape in place. Just work your way around and it generally will roll right off. Once you get that nice and clean, you can set it aside. Also pull loose any pieces of this double face tape that are still stuck to the outer edges of the screen if you like. Of course, we are going to be getting rid of this screen. But get those out of the way. Now we're going to be taking these four screws loose from the hinges. That will allow the back to come loose. And I would like to put my arm behind it so I get a little pressure there. The harder you can press with the screwdriver, the easier it is to break the seal of that screw. There's two on the right, two on the left. And now the back actually will come loose from the screen. I want you to be careful at this point because you don't want to just throw this backwards. There are some cables down in here that are attached and they're they're pretty tight. This is the actual VGA cable that connects to the screen. So lay your screen down and keep a little angle on the back and then you can start pulling this VGA cable loose from the screen. It has some sticky on the back of this flat cable. So you want to get it loose from the screen very carefully. And then there's a piece of clear tape that holds the plug in place. You can't see it very well here, but the uh, we're going to start the edge of it Start the edge, uh, pulling the edge loose. You do not want to pull this loose from the actual cable. You just want to get the top portion loose so that the cable will come loose and we'll be using it to reattach it to the new screen. So we leave that tape in place on the cable. Now we'll raise the screen back up, make it a little bit easier to get these side brackets loose. There are four screws, two on each side. Some have three. There's one at the top and one down at the bottom. And we'll pull those four screws loose, two from each side. And now 
the screen is basically loose. That's cracked. We'll set it aside. It'll go in the circular file. And we're now ready to attach our new screen. And it's pretty much a reverse process. I like to take the protective cover off. These pieces of tape will get caught under the side brackets if you don't go ahead and do this now. And that can actually cause a little bit of a problem in getting this to all seat back carefully because the clearances are fairly minimal. Just don't finger up the top of the screen. Don't want to handle this uh, too much. Uh, we'll put these four screws back in place. Be very careful. Don't tighten all four of them until you get them all four in place and then go back and retighten once you have them all seated, started at least. Now bring your back in place. Uh, sometimes the little camera up at the top uh, because of the movement of the cable will pull loose. It's just seated on some plastic pins up there. Seat that back in place. And now we're ready to take the VGA cable that we took loose and put it back in place. Uh, don't try to stick the cable back on the screen. Put the plug in first and tape it down. Make sure it's nice and snug before you put that piece of clear tape back down. Don't press too hard or you might crack this screen. And then you can actually press the uh, flat cable back onto the back of the screen so that it sticks in place. Now raise your screen back up. And we're getting close to being ready to close. Double check the placement of the camera because that's also tied into that same cable. And now we put the two screws back into the hinges on each side. And now the screen actually moves back and forth with the back. This is a good point to test to see if the screen is working. Make sure you got a good connection because this is everything you have to tie down that could have an effect on the pressure of the screen and the connection. So before you seal it back up, you do want to have those hinges in place. And then check the placement of the cable in the bottom of the screen there to make sure that the little brackets are holding it in place. That way you can get the... Uh, now with some double face tape, we're going to tear off some little small sections. It just makes it easier to cut with scissors later about an inch, inch and a half, and then cut that in half, and then cut each of those in half again so that you end up with a little quarter inch strip, about like that, that you're going to go around the edges of the screen. And we're not going to use solid connections like uh, all the way around the screen like they did before because this is enough to hold it in place. It just makes for a nice little seal on the inner edge. I generally like to put these spaced out a little bit, but close to center. And that will hold the outer bezel in place when we get ready to put it back on. And that is our next step. And we seat the bottom portion first. Make sure that the hinge covers go into place correctly. You'll feel them snap a little bit when they're in the right place. And then gradually start snapping the screen back into place all the way around. You'll hear it pop. Press the outer edges. Make sure you've got nice clean edges and there are no gaps. If you've got a gap, just try pressing it a little bit. Be careful that you don't bend the plastic that catches there. And now we can put the four screws back into place that hold the frame bezel on the front of the screen. Now we're ready to put our little plastic covers back over the screws. Using the tweezers is a good idea because it gives you a little more control. The two thicker ones go at the top. The two thin ones go at the bottom. Now one more test. And our screen is replaced. And that's how you replace a screen on a Lenovo laptop.